Are EVs really losing their resale value as much as the media are claiming? I mean, is it really that cheap to buy an EV if it was to buy that, you know, that cheap to buy an EV secondhand? And I think everyone will be doing it. Here's the actual numbers. Here are the top 15 cars when it comes to depreciation last year. Now, the worst car by far isn't on the list because it, it doesn't sell enough to be actually on the list. But I'll tell you what that is. It's far, far worse than these top 15. You probably know what you probably know it already. But anyway, hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Guys, if you want to charge your EV with solar, you should. You should charge your house with solar. It's free. It's amazing. It's just unbelievable. Having, having a big new system compared to my old small system, it's so much better. Use the company I use because, honestly, they have the best reviews here in Australia. They're not for America. Unfortunately, they don't yet serve Americans. I'll put a link in the description to... So you can use my, basically like my code. All right, what's going on here in the United States? These numbers are used car price depreciation. Tesla Model 3 is in first place. Few reasons, Tesla has obviously reduced the price of the Model 3 significantly, but probably more important than that, Tesla brought out a new version of the Model 3, which kicks the absolute butt of the old version. The new Tesla Model 3 Highland is significantly better range is amazing. I mean, people are getting 375 miles of range on the highway from the new version at highway speeds, 70 miles an hour, 375 miles of range. That's been repeated in um, not just in the US, but also in Europe as well, which is amazing. So depreciation, understandably, therefore, is pretty shocking on the old version of the Model 3, 24.8%. Good for buyers, though. If you want a secondhand electric car, don't buy a well, don't buy the worst car on this list, which isn't on this list because they don't sell enough of them anymore. They're such a niche vehicle. It's, of course, the Toyota Mirai. The Toyota Mirai, as some people call it. Anyway, the Toyota Mirai, its resale value has fallen by well over this figure. It's actually more than 50%. So these, these vehicles are nothing in comparison to Toyota's hydrogen-powered vehicles. Don't, don't get sucked into the buying them. You can get them so cheap now. You can get them for about fifteen, ten or $15,000 for pretty much a new car. It's not worth it. Trust me, it is absolutely not worth it. It's, it's just so painful for so many owners who are basically begging Toyota to take the cars back from them. Anyhow, second place, Kia Nero EV. Same, same thing applies to the Nero. There's a new version of the Nero. It's significantly better than the old version. Therefore, you would expect resale value down 21%. Maserati Levant. Actually, before I go on, that does mean you can get the average price for Kia Nero EV is now $21,700. So that's cheap. Average price of a used Tesla Model 3 is now $25,000. There's never been a better time to buy a secondhand electric car in America. That's amazing. Third place is the Maserati Levant. Now, the loss on your Maserati Levant will be significantly higher than the loss on a Tesla Model 3 or a Kia Nero EV because they have a higher starting price. The average difference for a one-year-old Levant is an 11,000 US dollar loss to minus 20.2%. Yeah, that's pretty shocking. Now, next, interestingly, is the Nissan Leaf. The Nissan Leaf. Use Nissan Leafs, unbelievably cheap, 16,000 US dollars, 20% uh, 20 lower than what they are buying them new. Hyundai Kona Electric. There's a new Kona, right? So this kind of makes sense as well. Down 18%. You can get those at an average price of 21,000. Chevrolet Bolt. Uh, well, the Bolt's an amazing deal too. 17,863 minus 18%. Jaguar E-Pace. Now the Jaguar E-Pace, they're selling for, it says minus 16%, but that's ridiculous. I don't know where they get these numbers from because Jaguar E-Paces cost at least 60 grand. Um, anyway, 26,500. They have been involved in more fire recalls than any car in history. And literally, unfortunately, they do burn. It's the only EV that I advise you strongly not to buy because they don't know how to fix the battery pack yet. It's um, it's it, it could go up in flames, says Jaguar, and they don't know how to fix it. So anyway, Range Rover Sport is next. You lose a lot of money on Range Rover Sport, $9,500. Minus 15%, Range Rover Evoque next, followed by the Range Rover Vila, the Ram 1500 Classic, the Mercedes AMG GT, the BMW X7, BMW X2, and then all the way back in number 15 is a Tesla Model S. Model S is actually retains its value quite well. 
which has a Model S. The new versions do, and I think they're quite good. So which of these cars would I personally buy? Me, my money would be on the old version of the Tesla Model 3. I think it's still a really good car. And yeah, I mean, it's just fantastic value. So for, for all these cars, that's the one I personally would go for. Now, keep in mind as well that a lot of these vehicles did qualify for EV incentives. They got the original buyer got a $7,500 incentive. So if you think about it, if the difference year over year on a Tesla Model 3 is $8,560 and the incentive they got was $7,500, then they lost $1,058. Not the enormous loss people are talking about, is it? So Tesla Model, Model 3 resale is actually much better than it looks. It's just that these, you know, second buyer, they're factoring in that tax credit that about 90% of buyers do qualify for and to get. So it's factoring those tax credits in. So Tesla Model 3 is actually not a bad deal to buy new. In fact, it's a really good deal to buy new and it's an amazing deal to buy secondhand. So for me, out of all these cars, the clear, winner here i don't see this as a as a being a loser in fact i think it's fantastic for americans to get it i mean make this your second car if you if you're scared to get an electric car just make this your second car you know hold on to one of your gas cars get this as your second car and then go oh okay i'm used to an ev now now i can get rid of my other gas car what are your thoughts guys do you share my optimism let me know in the comments bye, -bye.